Good afternoon, tubers. Today is the 7th of October. Um, I wanted to give you a little update on what's going on here and um, give you a heads up on a little problem you might have with this system. I came out here getting ready for our farmer's market, which was really not a farmer's market this weekend. Uh, we were at a festival in Oakland, Tennessee. They closed the farmer's market down to have an Oakland in October fest and uh, all the vendors were out there so anyway make a long story short came out here got ready to put all my lettuce together to carry it get it in there ready like at five o'clock in the morning or 4 30 whenever i got out here um started putting this stuff together and the pump had quit sometime during the evening the pump had quit and this stuff looked horrible so um Anyway, I, I was able to salvage some of it and get it ready to go, and it went all day while I was at Oktoberfest down. So uh, I, I did not have my backup ready, my backup pump, and I'm going to show you a little bit about this stuff, what I'm going to do to make sure that never happens to me again. All right, this is the setup. That is a jacuzzi pull pump. To, it's a in-ground pull pump uh, I believe it's a three-quarter horse pump and it supplies this entire system with nutrient solution from that reservoir and what had happened and you can see a bunch of water back in the back it was a mess what had happened is this thing lost prime somehow not sure but it may have been that guy I have an aeration system aerating this and I don't know if how it, it may have done it I don't know well for whatever reason it lost prime and quit pumping and I thought it was actually the pump had gone bad so I started taking it apart and uh, actually put this other pump on that guy which is my backup pump and y'all these pumps aren't cheap they're about $300 if you buy them new. I bought that off of Craigslist. Uh, and it's, it's a fairly new pump. I put it on and it started working for a while. And then it got air in it. So I had to change the way I brought the, the water into the pump. Uh, I had to bring, bring it down about that far from the bottom. So that um, it goes up, down, and in all the way to the bottom. And that pretty much stopped it from uh, getting the air in there. So anyway, uh, I'm going to put both pumps on here so that if one goes down, I can just flip it, flip it to the other one. Uh, I don't want this to happen again. Fortunately, these little guys survived. They looked pitiful for a while. These young mirror plants survived. This is a leaf lettuce called, I forgot, Bergham's leaf lettuce, I believe. And it is a, uh, a mirror-like lettuce, but it, it doesn't grow the same way. This, this, is a, this grows in a tight head, and that grows kind of just leafy. Uh, this is what we use our salad mix, in our salad mix. But then, you can see all this. This is stuff I've been pulling out. And there's, there's my casualties. But a lot of it is coming back. The Rex is doing a lot better. That's that butter lettuce. Um, I'm sorry, that's a, a butter head lettuce called Rex, a Boston rather. And there's some more mirror and I think, or that uh, Bergen's, and I think that's gonna come out, come back fine. Everything down here, it, it pulled out. That's uh, my arugula, it's doing fine. That's some more mirror. And these little guys look like they're all going to survive. My basil looks okay. Dill, cilantro, uh, Swiss chard, mustard green, and kale back there all look like they're going to survive. So we were very fortunate. But I did want to let you guys know, you might, the ones of you that have been talking to me and trying to build your own system like this, you will want to make sure you have a backup plan. I did not, but I won't make that mistake going forward. God bless, go plant some dirt. 
some nutrient solution, whatever you have to grow something. We'll see you next time.